Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and today I just wanted to talk to you about the Litecoin halving and kind of what to expect, maybe some impact uh, that we would see as well as a little speculation on my part. However, uh, in my speculation, this is just me talking out of experience and what I've seen. I'm not a professional trader, day trader, or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of go through my thoughts. But obviously, I want you to do your own research, please, and just double check everything. Now, currently, depending on the website that you're looking at, uh, the halving can take place anywhere around August 5th. One website says August 8th, but I, I just like to look at the actual block height. And currently, the block height is at 1,673,000 around about. So uh, less than 6,000 blocks left because every halving takes place at 840,000. So 840,000 times two, that means the next block height that the halving will take place on is 1,680,000. So that, that block height is what you're, you should be looking for for the actual halving to take place. This having is going to cut the rewards, well, in half. That's exactly what it means. What is a Litecoin having? Just like Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin goes through the having method every four years after 840,000 blocks. LTC blocks are mined and the minor rewards get halved or becomes 50% less than before. This time is the second time that it's happened because the first time was in August 2015. Um, and we're going to drop the reward from 25 currently to 12.5. Originally, back in 2015, every block mine, you got a reward of 50, 50 Litecoin. So on 2015, uh, August 26, 2015, the first Litecoin halving process took place. Since its inception in October 2011, at that time, the block reward dropped from 50 to 25. After 48 days of the halving, Litecoin price skyrocketed now that being said real quick switching switching gears here you can see Litecoin right now is around 94 to 93 dollars and before that you can see a nice little run-up because it was undervalued it was clearly undervalued right so when Bitcoin was in the 3,000 3,200 Litecoin was around 20 bucks and people started buying, started buying, they, they know the halving's coming, so you buy it low, keep buying, and we had this nice little run up all the way up to 140,000, 140, 145,000, but now we're dipping down. Similar to what we saw in the past. So the halving in 2015 took place on August 26, and you can see here again in July, June, July, we started building up. The price jumped up to eight dollars and forty-four cents compared to a dollar forty-six. Dipped back down, four dollars, three dollars, four dollars, and then August twenty-second, three dollars and fifty-two cents. But after that, two dollars and sixty-six. So it dipped down after the halving, and then you can see it kind of got a little bit stale, trading sideways. Picked up again, three dollars, four dollars. People sold again, and then it just gradually built up until present day. Historically, on August 3rd, Litecoin was at $7.54 before the halving. After the halving, it was only at $2.54. Excuse me, $2.85 on August 30th. So, as a trader, you should expect that Litecoin is going to continue to dip, especially because right now Bitcoin is in a current, it's in a correction, right? So it's been dipping down since its highs of uh, recent highs of 13,000, almost 14,000. So Litecoin is going down against the fiat currency. But if we look at it compared to BTC, our alt some of the altcoins are doing better compared to BTC. Now, just recently, we had this weird anom anomaly that usually rising all you know rising tides raise all ships or some. Sh analogy or quote like that I, I may have messed that up probably did but instead of bitcoin bringing the altcoins with it up recently bitcoin was rising up to 13 14,000 while the altcoins were still going to go still going down this time and this is just speculation on my part 
as the alt, as Bitcoin's coming down and the altcoins are building up, the next time we see Bitcoin go up, we should also see altcoins kind of rise up with it. And I could be wrong about that. That's just my theory. But we know for a fact that Litecoin is dipping right now and may dip further before the halving that takes place in around 11 days. So traders, retailers, investors, everybody's still picking up Litecoin while it's low or lower than it was recently. Uh, hoping that sometime after the halving, which could be anywhere from weeks to months to maybe a year before the actual price uh, increases, but they're hoping for that payout or to, to get a decent amount of profit, which is understandable. But because this halving is taking place, there's going to be impacts on a number of different places. For example, network hash rate. Just recently on July 14th, yeah, July 14th, Litecoin's network hash rate hit an all-time high of 523 terahashes. And you can see that it kind of dipped down. Now, the higher the network hash rate, the more secure the network is. Uh, so when this halving takes place, who's going to be impacted? Well, the traders might make a decent income and, um, you know, some retailers might make a decent profit. But what about the miners? Well, when the mining rewards, and this is by Charlie Lee, when the mining rewards get cut in half, some miners will not be profitable and they will shut off their machines, thus decreasing the network hash rate, the security of the network. Now, it's still going to be secure, but the network hash rate is going to go down. If a big percentage does that, then blocks will slow down for some time. For Litecoin, it's three and a half days before the next change, so possibly like seven days of slower blocks. And then after that, the difficulty will readjust and everything will be fine. So here's the thing. As a miner, and, and you, you need specialized hardware to mine Litecoin directly. You need an ASIC or an FPGA program to do so. You can't just grab an NVIDIA or AMD GPU and mine Litecoin. You're going to wind up having to auto switch or auto exchange your altcoins to Litecoin. And I've done a video about this comparing the profitability of auto switching and getting paid out in LTC versus auto switching, getting paid out in Bitcoin, and then just buying Litecoin, which I found getting paid in Bitcoin and then just going and trading that Bitcoin for Litecoin to be more profitable or more efficient than getting paid out in Litecoin. But that's a big debatable topic because a lot of people like these, uh, the faster transaction speeds and the cheaper fees of Litecoin as far as payment. However, with the halving taking place, these pools like Zerg Pool, Z Pool, Block, uh, Block Masters, because the rewards are going to be less, the profitability is going to get cut, they're going to have to probably increase their fees to keep it active. Some pools may, not, may even have to take off Litecoin or uh, off their actual um, coin list of supported coins. So it's going to impact the pools, it's going to impact the miners, it's going to impact the network hash rate, the network security, but there is a saving grace. We got two choices or two things that could possibly happen that could help us out. One, either the price goes up and miners stay interested in it because it's still profitable for them. Or two, because the miners are leaving the network or not on the network anymore, the difficulty is going to level off, making it more profitable for miners to get back in. So we either need to, as a miner, we either need the difficulty to come down or the price to go up. Looking at past history, though, we can speculate that the price is not going to go up right away. So it's probably not going to be profitable right off the bat. So I speculate that around the time of the halving, Litecoin can be anywhere between 90 to around 75 bucks. And I know that's a broad range cons considering how um, the, the current price of Litecoin, but we should see it dip some more to having take place, probably dip a little bit more than that. And then sometime in the future, as it trades sideways, consolidates, then we should see some type of increase. So you're either a long term, uh, you're, you're hodling or you're shorting and trying to make profits across the board. 
Um, but those are more, my theories, and I just wanted to show you the impacts that this could have overall on the community. Now, let me read this to you real quick. At present, the miners mine one LTC every 2.5 minutes and receive 25 LTC per block reward, which is going to get halved in another two months, which is 11 days because this is an article that's older. Some of the factors which would get affected are the miners, the users, and the price by default. A break-even cost, break cost is when the miner's profitability can cover only his own cost. So when Litecoin's price falls below the break-even point, the miner is bound to suffer losses or just get out of the game. Impact on miners. When the computational power increases, the miners will find it difficult to compete and eventually exit. Similar kind of mining adjustment problem happened last month, uh, last time Litecoin underwent the halving. Even the mining pool owners get affected by this. When LTC has a high value to pool owners and retail investors scramble to buy the machine and vice versa. Moreover, the halving would cause the profitability of Litecoin uh, mining smaller and the time for profit more uncertain. So it's pretty much a waiting game. We need to see what this what this price is going to do. We need to see uh, you know if it dips down, but the difficulty stays high. It's not going to be profitable, so people are going to leave. Pools may not support it anymore. Um, so we need to give it some time. Be patient. But when this having happens, if you're trading. You play your cards right, you could you could do pretty good. As a miner, we're just gonna have to be patient. And that's the biggest thing, because I am a GPU miner, um, and I know what I'm looking for now. I'm either looking for the price to go up or the difficulty to go down. And that's pretty much what I wanna share with you guys. The overall impact to mining and what to expect, what to look for. I'm sure, sure there's plenty of videos about this out there. But just kind of arm yourself with information uh, to make sure you don't get in any kind of trouble or anything like that or, you know, get screwed over. So good luck to you guys. Uh, do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff that uh, helps me out. And I appreciate you stopping by. You have a good one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.